In this video, I'm unveiling a highly accurate reversal trading strategy using one of TradingView's most precise premium indicators. This strategy is built for lower time frames, like the 1 minute and 5 minute charts, making it perfect for day traders seeking fast, consistent gains. But it doesn't stop there. It also delivers impressive results on higher time frames, from the 1 hour to the daily chart. Whether you're trading Bitcoin, altcoins, major forex pairs, or stocks, this strategy has you covered. Just imagine the profit potential with a strategy this easy to follow. I've put this strategy to the test 100 times on the Bitcoin chart. Make sure to stay tuned until the end where I'll share the full breakdown of my trading results. Okay, without wasting any time, let's get straight into it. Today, I'm excited to share a powerful reversal trading strategy. If you're new to reversals, it's a technique where you enter the market when you anticipate a complete trend shift. In simple terms, you buy when a downtrend is about to reverse into an uptrend, and you sell when an uptrend is about to reverse into a downtrend. This approach lets you take advantage of major market turning points, which can boost your profit potential. But it does require careful analysis and timing to confirm that the reversal is genuine, not just a temporary correction. Reversal trading, especially on lower time frames, can be risky if you're not experienced. But don't worry, the strategy I'm about to show you is a much safer approach to reversal trading. It follows strict rules that are essential to minimizing risk and achieving highly accurate entries. By following these rules, you'll be able to make nearly foolproof trades and watch your profits grow. As an example, we will use the Bitcoin price chart on a one-hour time frame. The strategy includes one indicator only. In order to add it, you want to click on the Indicators tab and search for Lux Algo Signals and Overlays Premium. Now, keep in mind, this is a premium indicator. This video isn't sponsored by Lux Algo. However, you can sign up using my special link in the description, which not only gives you up to 50% off with annual payment, but also lets you test these tools risk-free for 30 days. So, there's literally no risk in giving it a try. Click that to add it to your chart. All right, now let's adjust the settings of our indicator. For the signal mode, we want to use confirmation and exits. Next, we want to set the candle coloring to confirmation simple. Then we want to disable the smart trail overlay. And now for the signal sensitivity, depending on the asset and time frame you're trading, I recommend using the autopilot sensitivity set to midterm or long term if you prefer an easier approach without adjusting the sensitivity manually. For advanced traders, I suggest using the manual sensitivity and setting it to to a value between 18 and 32, based on the asset, time frame, and current market volatility. Next, you'll want to enable the reversal zones, along with the trend catcher and trend tracer overlays, setting all values to 3. And finally, you want to click the style tab, disable both the bullish and bearish exit signals as we don't need them for our strategy, and change the trend tracer's line type from line to cross. Alright, our setup is ready, but before we dive into the exact trading rules, let's break down the main tools we're using for this strategy and why they're so effective. Our primary focus is on reversal zones. These zones display high probability areas for tops and bottoms, where the market might reverse. By watching how price action interacts with these zones, specifically looking for bounces combined with a buy or sell signal, we gain early insight into potential trend shifts. This gives us a strategic edge, allowing us to enter trades at key turning points rather than chasing momentum. For added confirmation, we use both the trend tracer and trend catcher overlays. The trend tracer is designed to identify the underlying market trend, shown as blue during an uptrend and orange in a downtrend. It works as a dynamic support or resistance, helping us stay aligned with the broader trend and avoid false signals. The trend catcher, on the other hand, is more responsive and detects early early trend shifts. Using both together enhances our accuracy. The trend tracer keeps us on the right side of the overall trend, while the trend catcher identifies quicker shifts, giving us timely entry points. For entries, the strategy relies on price action bouncing off a reversal zone, combined with a buy or sell signal. This dual confirmation of reversal zones and signals helps filter out lower quality trades, focusing on high probability setups. When it's time to exit a trade, we look at a few factors. We combine the buy-sell signal with candle color coloring and the trend tracer. The candles change color based on trend strength. Green for a strong bullish trend, red for a strong bearish trend, and purple for weaker signals. This candle color, along with the trend tracer, acts as a final confirmation showing us when to lock in profits and close the trade confidently. By blending these tools, we create a comprehensive strategy that adapts across market conditions. This combination of signals, trend detection, and adaptive exits allows us to stay in trades longer when the trend is strong and exit smartly when momentum starts to shift. Altogether, 
these tools help us reduce risk while maximizing potential gains. So, when exactly should we enter buy or sell trades? Here are the exact rules for a buy position. Make sure to pay close attention to every single one of them. To start, watch for the price to fully enter and then exit the red reversal zone. This indicates that the market may be preparing for a bullish move. Next, wait for a buy signal, which can be either a regular or a strong signal. Now, here's an important detail. Within the next seven candlesticks, both the trend tracer and the trend catcher need to turn bullish if they aren't already by the time the buy signal appears. Once all conditions align, price has exited the reversal zone. There's a buy signal. The trend catcher is green and the trend tracer is blue. We can enter a buy trade at the close of the current candlestick. For taking profits, we'll wait for a red candlestick to close below the trend tracer, the one with the crosses, but only if a sell signal has appeared. Let's go through this step by step. Here, we see a red candlestick closing below the trend tracer. However, this is not a valid exit signal, as there's no sell signal. Quick reminder, this is a premium indicator. The video's not sponsored, but you can get up to 50% off with my link and try Luxalgo risk-free for 30 days. Then, a few candlesticks further along, a sell signal appears. Now, we wait for a red candlestick to confirm the exit. Here it is, a red candlestick closing below the trend tracer after the sell signal. This is our cue to exit the trade. This trade achieved an 8% price movement on the Bitcoin chart, with an excellent risk-reward ratio of 1 to 2.9. Notice the precision of these indicators in capturing perfect entry and exit signals, taking the guesswork out of trading. Now let me show you another buy trade example. First watch for the price to enter and then exit the red reversal zone, signaling that a bullish move may be forming. Next, wait for a buy signal to appear here, either a regular or a strong signal. Remember, within the following seven candlesticks, both the trend tracer and the trend catcher must turn bullish if they haven't already by the time the buy signal shows up. In this example, all conditions align as the buy signal appears. The price has exited the reversal zone, we have a buy signal. The trend catcher is green colored and the trend tracer is blue. This means it's time to enter a buy trade at the close of the current candlestick. For taking profits, our approach remains the same. We'll wait for a red candlestick to close below the trend tracer, but only if a sell signal appears first. Let's break this down. Here, a red candlestick closes below the trend tracer, but there's no sell signal yet, so this is not a valid exit. Then we finally see a sell signal and a confirming red candlestick closing below the trend tracer, signaling our exit. This trade resulted in a 12% price move on the Bitcoin chart with a solid risk-reward ratio of 1 to 2.5. Notice again how these indicators work together seamlessly to find the optimal entry and exit points with ease. And the exact opposite is true for sell trades. To start, watch for the price to fully enter and then exit the green reversal zone. This indicates that the market may be preparing for a bearish move. Next, wait for a sell signal, which can be either a regular or a strong signal. Now, here's an important detail. Within the next seven candlesticks, both the trend tracer and the trend catcher need to turn bearish if they aren't already by the time the sell signal appears. Once all conditions align, price has exited the reversal zone, there's a sell signal, the trend catcher is red, and the trend tracer is orange. We can enter a sell trade at the close of the current candlestick. For taking profits, we'll wait for a green candlestick to close above the trend trend tracer, the one with the crosses, but only if a buy signal has appeared. Let's go through this step by step. Here, we see a buy signal appears and a green candlestick closing above the trend tracer. This is our cue to exit the trade. This trade achieved an 4% price movement on the Bitcoin chart, with an excellent risk-reward ratio of 1 to 3.4. It's impressive to see how accurately these indicators capture the ideal points to enter and exit the trade. Now let me show you another sell trade example. First, watch for the price to enter and then exit the green reversal zone, signaling that a bearish move may be forming. Next, wait for a sell signal to appear, either a regular or a strong signal. Remember within the following seven candlesticks, both the trend tracer and the trend catcher must turn bearish if they haven't already by the time the sell signal shows up. In this example, all conditions align as the sell signal appears. The price has exited the reversal zone, we have a sell signal, the trend catcher is red colored, and the trend tracer is orange. This means it's time to enter a sell trade at the close of the current candlestick. 
For taking profits, our approach remains the same. We'll wait for a green candlestick to close above the trend tracer, but only if a buy signal appears first. Let's break this down. Here, some candlestick close above the trend tracer, but there's no buy signal yet and none of them is green colored, so this is not a valid exit. Then we finally see a buy signal, but the candlestick isn't green colored yet. Now a confirming green candlestick closes above the trend tracer, signaling our exit. This trade resulted in an 18% price move with an impressive risk reward ratio of 1 to 6.1. See how smoothly these indicators work together, making precise entries and exits crystal clear. At the beginning of the video, I promised to show you the backtesting results, and now it's time to deliver on that promise. I've tested this strategy 100 times manually on the BTC USD one hour chart, and here are the results. I started with a $1,000 account balance. I used 10% of my account per trade, adjusting as my balance changes with each win or loss. For example, if I profit $100 on a trade, my new balance becomes $1,100, and I use 10% of this updated balance for the next trade. Similarly, if I lose $100, my balance drops to $900, and I use 10% of this amount on the following trade. If you want to learn my best strategies for trading crypto, forex, and stocks, check out this video right here.